my name is Dr. Jose Luis Ruiz, and I'm the director of the Los Angeles Institute of Clinical Dentistry. And it is a pleasure for me to share with you this technique of the week uh, designed by Dentistry today. And the subject today is porcelain veneers. And I want to share with you a, a technique or an approach to overcome a complicated situation when we're doing porcelain veneers. Patients who have a border to border or a cross bite. And porcelain veneers are way more than just for aesthetic purposes. In fact, porcelain veneers are a false substitute for full crowns. In my practice, I haven't prepped a full crown in the anterior area. I don't remember when was the last time I did this. But unfortunately, traditionally, we tend to repair damage to a tooth like we see on the screen. This, this patient had two crowns in the centrals, and it was because she had a, fra a severe fracture in one of them, and she ended up getting two crowns, and you can see the damage caused by the preparations. And of course, the ginger was very unhealthy. Uh, porcelain veneers allow us to have a different approach to this. Uh, this, this so the patient has a fracture, a severe fracture on one central, but we are able to repair what's missing without having to further destroy the tooth. And we did the other tooth so we can get a perfect two central match. And the results are beautiful, are healthy. Everything is above the gum using super gingival, minimally invasive preparations and a, in, an approach. Now, the preparation for porcelain veneers is, it varies dramatically by, uh, by, by educator, by institute. Some of them recommend an uh, approach that is more like a three-quarter crown preparation where they break contacts. And my personal belief and approach is, is minimally invasive, keep the margins above the gum, don't break contacts. And um, the, the, the benefit of that is that we're going to minimize the amount of enamel that we lose. We're also, if we stay above the gums, we're going to minimize the, the complexity of the cementation. And um, I like to reduce 0.4 in the cervical area, 0.6 in the middle uh, third, and one millimeter in size or less reduction. So this is a case of a patient who had a traditional situation where, where her teeth, the color of her teeth was not very good. She had, had some bondings that were not very satisfactory. Um, you can see a minimally invasive approach to preparation. Very, very little, little tooth was taken off and great laboratory work. Uh, of course, we all know that when we do porcelain veneers, the ultimate result, what patient can see, is not really our work, but it's a laboratory's work. And uh, I've been working with Burbeck Dental Lab and uh, doing porcelain veneers. And of course, you can see that the results are very satisfactory. They're beautiful, and the patient was very satisfied. Now, this is a traditional case where, where everything, is, everything is normal and pretty much perfect. We're just coating the front of the teeth with beautiful porcelain. Now, if we want them to last, we, we must be aware of the three golden rules of occlusion. We need, we need to understand occlusion for durability. Specifically, the third golden rule of occlusion talks about uh, you know, the need to have sufficient space for the envelope of function. We see in, this, in the screen uh, some cases where the, the, the patient d did not have sufficient overjet. They have a border-to-border -border bottle close to it and they have badly damaged their teeth. Now we see on the screen, the, you know, one of those patients who has a border-to-border -border bite, I can guarantee you that if you add composite to repair the, the chips and the damage or, or porcelain without gaining sufficient overjet, those restorations will break in no time. Now in this particular case, we suggest that we give the patient options because of the crowding in the bottom, we suggest the orthodontics, so the patient, their orthodontics gained the overjet that we needed by proclining the upper anterior teeth, and now we can place those veneers with sufficient overjet, and now they do very well, they're very successful. Now, the problem with that is, of course, the patient has to spend money on orthodontics first, and then they have to also spend money on veneers. Can we do it in a different way? Yes. This case that you see right here is a patient who has a similar situation, a border to border, and some areas even a slight crossbite, and she's destroyed and damaged her teeth because of that. Now, she did not want to have orthodontics. She did not want to pay for ortho first and then veneers, and the good news is her lower, lower teeth, lower anterior teeth, were fairly straight, so it's not so much of a problem. So we decided to do 
a minimal invasive preparation approach. You see the preparations on the screen right here, and you can see the, the, the amount of tooth removed was very, very little. And um, basically the approach here is to do a one millimeter reduction in the incisal ledge. That's going to give us space to place the porcelain on the incisal ledge. That will become now kind of like the new cingulum. Then we're going to do very little preparation on the facial, just to me is basically established margins. And we're going to have the porcelain veneer kind of come out of the tooth and gi give us the overjet, give us the increased length, which is what the patient wanted, what the patient had lost due to the cross, cross bite. And, um, and then I do some very minor enamoplasty on the lingual of the maxillary tooth so the tooth doesn't end up doesn't end up being very, very fat. And uh, again, that, that, that approach preserves a lot of tooth. We, the preparations were very conservative. The patient gets the beauty that she wants uh, without having to go through orthodontics. So you see now the, the slide of the, the, the image of how the, the ultimate result was. The patient, again, was very satisfied. And, um, and we, can, uh, uh, we can use this approach in cases where where the lower teeth are relatively straight, where, you know, where we want to provide our patients with porcelain veneers in a very short period of time. I want to thank you for your attention, and I want to thank Gervac Dental Lab for sponsoring this video, and, and I look forward to seeing you next time.